As you guys can see here, these are all the activities that were performed by our Instagram bot. It followed a bunch of users, interacted with their media, liked their media, took breaks, everything worked out as it should. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Data Circle, your go-to place for useful data projects. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an Instagram bot. This bot is going to be able to scrape users from a specific hashtag, follow them and like their posts. If you're looking to grow an Instagram account, if you have a business, if you're looking to get more followers, this video is for you. Sit back, relax and let's get scraping. All right, first we need to set up our environment. We need to install the API we're going to be using. It's going to be Instagram API. Install Instagram API. And you see here that all requirements are already satisfied because I already have this installed. Let's get to the dependencies. Let's import everything we need first. Obviously, we're going to be importing Instagram API, which we just installed. We're going to be importing config. We can get our login info. We don't have to type it in plain text in our document. Import random. We're going to need it for a couple breaks. We're going to see it in just a second. And time for the same. Let's run this. All right. Now we got to log into our account, client equals client, and then we're going to client login. We got to give it our credentials, our username and password. You could put it just in plain text here, but I don't advise that you do that. It's always good to either use it as an environment variable or as I'm going to do here, I'm going to be using a config file, config.py file, and I'm going to be importing from there. Config.username, config.password. Yes, we got it from Instagram API. We got to import client. Now it's attempting to log in and login is true. First, we're going to choose a hashtag. We're going to get the most popular post for that hashtag. And then from those posts, we're going to get the users who are liking those posts. And then we're going to follow and interact with those users. Let's say I'm in the coding business. I want to sell courses or whatever. And I want to follow people that have the same interests. So I'm going to choose a hashtag. In my case, it's gonna be Python. And this is especially useful for me. I just created the Data Circles Instagram profile. I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. You guys can go and follow it. We got a good content coming up. For now, it's just a bunch of good web scraping memes. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you wanna follow it, stay tuned for the, for the content that's coming up. I'm posting there any future scrapers, future videos that are coming up. We're gonna define our hashtag that we wanna scrape from. Now we wanna use Instagram API to get the top medias from that hashtag. Top media and this is how you do it you always got to use clients and then from the client you're going to choose whatever it is that you want to do in our case we want the hashtag media so we're just going to say hashtag medias and we want the top one top and we're going to give it our hashtag the python hashtag and we want to say how many medias we want so i'm just going to get the top five medias this is a very popular hashtag i'm going to be getting quite a lot of users from this now we want to gather the users who are liking those posts i'm going to create an empty list first i can start them and then i'm going to be iterating over those medias that i just acquired i can gather the likers for media in top medias i'm going to get media likers client dot media underscore likers and we always got to gotta give it an id if you're looking for a user you're going to give the user id if you're looking for media you're going to give it the media id media dot id and then for each one of the likers in each media, I'm going to be appending those users to the list we created for liker in media underscore likers. I'm going to be doing likers list dot append. All right. And then we're going to be appending the liker. Let's first get our media. Yes, we got it. Depending on how popular the hashtag is or how many medias you input here, it's going to take longer or less time for this, but it's still pretty quick. Now let's see what we got just so I can show you guys how it looks like. You can see here, we got the medias, we got the PK, we got the private key, we got the ID, we got take an date, we got pretty much all of the metadata from the media and as well as the caption and a bunch of other stuff location. Now that we have all of the medias with the respective IDs, we can start populating this list. Let's see. Media likers is not defined. Just a second. Yes, here. And likers list. All right, now let's see how many users we get. Let's see our likers list. This is our list. You can see we got info on each one of the users, but I want the length. Let's do it real quick here. Yeah, 435 users. That's how many likers we got on the top five posts with the hashtag Python. Now we've got to remove duplicates. And the way we're going to do this, we're going to make it into a set and then turn it back into a list. Likers underscore list. Sets don't allow for duplicates. This for me is the quickest way to get rid of them. Set likers list. Let's check it out. We want the length 424. 
just a couple of duplicates there we got rid of them all all right now we're getting to the good part that's when you're starting to follow those users and interacting with them I just got to give you guys a quick disclaimer. There's nothing wrong with doing this, but if you start flooding Instagram with follow requests, if you start doing this too frequently, uh, if you're trying to follow too many people all at once, your account's probably going to get flagged and you might have issues. Use it wisely. First thing we're going to do is initialize counters. Here's where we're going to be setting limits to ensure that we don't overdo it. It keeps our account safe from Instagram anti-bot measures. I'm going to be defining first a couple counters that you guys are going to understand why they're using in just a second then we want to define breaks here's uh, we're trying to mimic human behavior humans take breaks in between actions so i'm not going to be defining the length of the breaks i'm actually going to be defining in between how many actions the breaks are going to happen let's say our max break this is going to be how many accounts we're going to be interacting with before we're going to be taking a break this is going to be from one to two minutes we're going to be interacting with 15 accounts and then then taking a break here and then we want to do max follows this is the maximum amount of accounts your, your codes are going to be following before it stops. I'm going to be doing 30 here just for the purposes of this demonstration. You guys can play with it later and choose whatever you like. Let's just this here and this here. Now we're going to fetch the list of accounts we follow, our own account follows. We don't want to be trying to follow anyone that we're already following. In order to do that, we're going to do create a list called following. And then inside that list, we're going to do clients dot user underscore following that's how we get our following list client that's us dot user id all right now we know all the accounts we are already following now we can start our loop we're going to be looping through all of the likers in the likers list for the posts we gathered for liker in likers list and before we do anything we got to check if our max follows limit was reached let's do this first if count user total which is the number of users we've already followed and interacted with far if it's higher or equal to max underscore follows then we're gonna print reached maximum follow limit and stopping now and we're gonna break all right first check is done now we're gonna do that check where we see if we're already following the user we don't move along and try to follow him again if like here dot pk i'm getting the private key to a certain user to the user we're iterating over if that private key is in the following list we got then it means we're already following them then we're gonna print already following and we can add the username like her dot username and we're gonna say skip it because we don't want to waste time with them right and continue now if that's not the case if we're not already following that user and we have not reached our limit yet then we want to proceed to following the user i'm just going to use a try accept cause in case there's an error our app doesn't crash client dot user and we want to follow we got to give it the private key to that specific user pk and this is the comment we're going to be using to follow it. now we're just going to do a quick print statement to know what's going on we can get a good log of what's happening like here dot username then we want to update our counts count users and count users total count users plus equal one and count users total plus equal one now we want to do our accept clause accept accept and we just want to catch the error we're going to print error following like here dot username and then we want to show the error and we just wish to continue in case that happens we want to continue here we can move on to the next user we don't want to bother with this one anymore because there was an error following now we want to implement a break as i said we're going to try to mimic human behavior a quick random break between five and ten seconds after following time dot slip random and i want random random into here between five and ten seconds this is just a short way short way to mimic human behavior we don't get flagged now after we follow we want to interact with them because then there's a higher chance that they're gonna come back and follow us and interact with our content the quickest way to do that is just liking a couple pictures from that particular user but we don't want to always be liking the same amount of pictures because that's robot-like behavior and we are trying to mimic human behavior as much as possible here we want to randomize the number of media media we're going to like for each one of the users in order to do that we're going to create a variable called num medias to like 
and we're gonna do a random integer between two and five. Then before we like, we gotta actually get the media, that number of medias from that particular user. User underscore medias, client dot user underscore media. Now we're gonna supply it with our liker PK as usual and the number of medias which we just defined randomly. Number of media to like, yes. Now for each one, we're gonna be liking each one of those medias for media in user underscore medias. We're gonna do equal try, always, use, always using a try accept clauses, client dot media underscore like, that's the comment. So we can like our media and then we just gotta get the ID for the media we're iterating over, media dot ID. And then we just print liked media with ID from user, like our username. Just so we know what's going on, what our robot is doing. And then in case we get an error, we're just gonna handle it exception S. We're gonna catch the exception, S E. And we're gonna print error interact with media, media.id from user. All right, now we're, we have already followed the user. We like the random number of medias from that specific user. We want to give it another break. We can just use the same as before, a quick break between five and 10 seconds. And then one more thing. I established two limits here. One for the max follows. That's the number after this, the application stops. But there's a max break as well. This is when it takes a short break. As I said, mimicking human behavior, it's going to take a break of one to two minutes. And that's what we're going to be implementing now. If count users and max break, if it's equal to zero, then we're going to take a break. Print followed. And then we're going to say how many users we followed. Count users accounts. Now we're going to be taking a short break. Let's do the actual break. Same as before, we're going to be using time sleep. Let's just it's here, but since this is a longer break, in between in our case and my case, every 15 follows, let's do it between one and two minutes. All right, and now we should be good to go. Let's run it and let's see how it goes. All right, you can see it started following accounts already. Follow someone, it's taking that short break between five and 10 seconds. Oh, just a second, we got a quick error here. Let's see what's going on. All right, the account is private. We're not authorized to view user. We just got to deal with that exception here real quick. Let's do a try accept here as well. It's probably when we're trying to get gather the medias from a particular user that has a private account. We should account for that. Accept E. And then we're just gonna do the same thing that we've been doing pri previously. All right. Let's try this once again. We got to add another try accept block here. In this case, because we didn't get any medias because the account was private, we got to handle the other exception. Let's do a try accept here. All right, we got our exception here as well. In case the account is private, there are not going to be any media. We're not going to even try to look at the media. Let's do this once again and see what goes on. While this is running, I want to remind you guys that we now have an Instagram account. It's the datacircle.tech. You guys can look it up. I'm going to put a screenshot of the account here. You guys don't miss it. There's great content coming up. I'm going to be posting there spoilers about new scrapers and new projects I'm working on. As well, web scraping memes, humor content, and what not, stay tuned. Links in the description of the video. If you guys wanna check it out, please go for it. Before running this code, just our disclaimer, as I said, use it at your own risk. This might be okay for just a few followings a day, but if you wanna scale up, I would highly recommend that you start making your code more robust. You could add a couple random interactions, such as commenting, which this API allows you to do or saving posts randomly. Every couple posts, or you could just add a chance that one of those actions are gonna happen. Because chances are, if you run it like this for too long, you might get caught. But that said, let's see how this one is working. All right, you can see it started following users. I just forgot an A here. Let's try again. All right, you can see here it followed this user and started liking their media. It seemed like this time it was three posts. Then it followed another user. And you guys can play with it. You guys can define different pauses, different limits. As I said, you can do random interactions. You can comment, save posts, whatever you wish to do. This is a very powerful API and it's currently the only one that works. You can see here, we're interacting with media from another user. 
You could put this inside a test scheduler or cron job so you can make it run on a regular basis as well. Just make sure not to overdo it and keep an eye on it in case you start getting hit with limits. You can see it works quite well. You guys can see here after 15 accounts it's taking a short break. That one is set for one to two minutes and after that it's gonna resume for another 15 accounts. Now you can see the scraper is done. I set a max accounts limit to 30. Now this is it guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, thedatacircle.tech and I'll see you guys on the next one.